So I recently purchased a reject rescue box from Gut Up. I purchased the one that is 50 pairs of shoes and it was $250. If you don't know what Gut Up is, it sells used clothing and with their extra clothing that they have left over or they didn't sell, they are now selling rescue boxes where you can buy and you can either keep them or resell them. So I decided to get the shoe one just to try it. So I'm going to get started. I just opened this, so I have no idea what's in here. So let's see. The first pair are these really wacky, wacky heels. They're hot rated, not rated, and they're a really crazy color. There's a little mark right there, but they look pretty nice. Oh wow, they are not worn. Definitely not worn at all. Um, I don't see this out. Oh. They are a nine and a half. So yeah, they they actually look really nice. They have um, a tag on here that says forty-four dollars. So they must have been originally $44. The next ones, whoa, they are some, they're Sia's, I've never heard of this. They are, they, they have also never been worn. They look brand new, a little bit dirty right here, but it looks like the kind of dirt that you can wipe off. Um, Oh, they're Derek Lamb and Ten Crosby CVs. I've heard of Derek Lamb, I have not heard of Ten Crosby's, and I have not heard of CVs. So, these are actually really nice. And they are a size. Um, I can't find it, so I will have to look at that later. The next pair, Bear Traps. I think I've heard of these. I think they're just a, a lower end kind of brand. They are kind of a Birkenstock kind of looking shoe. They don't look like they have been worn either. Oh, yeah, they have a little bit of wear right there. But they're kind of cute. They're just some white shoes. Um, they are size nine and a half. Next pair, we have some Alex Marie. I've never heard of this brand. These are their heels. They are in pretty good condition. You can see a little bit of wear, but like there's no wear on like in here and there's no wear on the toe at all. They're pretty cute. They'd be nice like prom heels or something of that sort. They're size eight, meet eight, so that's a really good size to sell. Let's see what else we have. We have, whoa, Rogue. I've never heard of Rogue. But, wow, these are something. You must, you lace these up. And they, they have been worn. You can tell they have been worn. But they look, they look pretty good. They're in pretty decent condition. There's, there's no, like, stains or anything on here. Uh, let's see what size they are. Size 10. A little big, but they're pretty nice. Next pair, we have some wedges. Oh, just Old Navy, but they are really good condition. Um, I'd say maybe they were worn, but there's no wear or anything right here. There's no creases. Um, this wraps around your ankle like that. 
what size they are. They're size eight, so a good size. Next pair are Jelly Pop. So not, not a high-end brand at all, but brand new. These have never been worn. There's a mark right here. Hopefully I can get that out. Oh, there's some, a few marks on them. But besides that, they, they're pretty nice and they're, they're nine and a half. They'd be good for just like a formal kind of shoe. They, ha they all have rubber bands around them, which is kind of annoying, because I've seen people that they're each wrapped in individual tissue paper, but that's okay. Let's see what these are. Rogue Vivian? I have not heard of this, but shoe seems like it's pretty good. It's a nice, heavy shoe. Might be heavy because of that thing. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are really nice. They don't look like they have been worn at all actually so they have one of them has slight markings right there but it looks like I can just wipe it right out um, I women's 37 so I'm not sure what that is is in American sizes and also there are no nothing there's nothing missing right here so that's good and they're Really nice. I'd be curious to see what these are worth. And we got some more heels. Vince Camuto. These are just your nice black, some nice black shoes. Size eight and a half. Ooh, my size. But yet yeah, they're no markings have a little bit of wear at the bottom here, but nothing major. I mean, it's, yeah, these are, these are really nice. They're in really good condition. Cool. Okay, we got some cloth shoes here. Oh, these are Roxy Surf. These are really cute. There's nowhere, honestly, they, they literally look brand new. There's nothing on them. And they're a size six and a half, so too small for me, unfortunately, because I really like them. They have this cute, cute detailing on the back of them. And they're just, they're really, they have a huge arch, but they look really nice. <laughs> Next pair, we got Geox Rest. The real? I've never heard of this. But they don't they don't feel like they're that they're like high end. But they are brand new again. And yeah, they're just your basic they're like a wedge. They're kind of like rubbery kinda. Like a like how a crock material kinda. Like that light rubber. Um size No, I can't see that. Um, made in Brazil. I size 41, so I'm not really sure what that translates into. And next up, we got some boots. They got oh nope, it's not paint. It's glitter. They are stuck to each other. Capelli. And, oh, not, not brand new, but they are very, they're glittery. They're just your basic black rubber boot, size 8. They're pretty good. They have no markings on them or anything. So, cool. I'm happy with those ones. I'm trying not to look at them early, and it's hard. Um, you got some Morona shoes. These ones are nice. They're, they don't look like they're worn. They're nice, like... Oh, yeah, they do have a mark right there, but I can probably color that in with something. They're nice, like, work shoes or something that you could wear to work. They're just basic. Um, size six and a half. All man-made materials. So, yeah, those, these are pretty nice. And we got a nice pair of heels. 
bubbles here. Impo. I've never heard of them, but it says it's a leather upper. So maybe they're pretty good. Oh, but they do have this. So they are brand new. You can see that. They are brand new. And they have they have a little bit of markings on the toe, but nothing you could see when it's on. Size nine and a half. Those are cute. They're like they got little flowers on them. They must have been from some kind of discount store because they have a little sticker here. It's not a Ross sticker or a TJ Maxx sticker, but it must be something similar. Next, we have, oh, we have some Nike shoes. I like selling Nike shoes. Nike shoes sell even when they're used. These have a nice color to them. They are used, but not, I mean, I can clean the bottoms up and they'll look pretty new. A little bit of wear in the toe, but not too much. These are cute. Um, they are a size... Oh. Size 7. So, yeah, those will be pretty nice. They're a nice, like a Tiffany blue type color. On, on gray. Next up. Oh, I just found one. Dansko shoes. I have never found Dansko shoes, but I've I've heard they sell for a good amount. They're a size 41, and they are like a just a a red fabric, and they they're not new because the bottoms are dirty, but they look new. These are just these are really nice, really good condition. Almost done with the first box. Let's see. Ooh, these look nice. These are instant. Hashtag instant. I've never heard of that, but they're nice and heavy. Size 40. I don't know. They look kind of like maybe around a 9 or a 10. Maybe a little bit bigger. But they're... They're really nice. Nice and heavy, and I mean the bottoms, nowhere on the bottoms. They are new. So I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky getting these new ones or if they get their inventory from somewhere because like the better name brand ones have seemed to be used more than the, the non-name brand ones. Next, we have some boots. Um, these are not in great condition. They don't appear to be in great condition. Oh, yeah, that's, that's peeling, but I mean, when you zip it up, you can't tell. They are natural sports, so just a, I think it's, I don't know where that's sold, maybe JCPenney's, I'm not sure. But, I mean, they're nice. Just for that peeling on the inside, which hope maybe I can peel that off. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're pretty they're okay. Um, I don't see the size and I oh. Oh, naturalizer, yeah, that I think that's sold at JC Pennies. Seven and a half. Okay. Just some basic Charlie Rue flats. They are new, size eight. They're, I mean, they're nice, really, really light. So they'd be good for summer or something. They're new, so cool. Got some Franco, Franco Caroli. I've, I haven't heard of this brand, but again, they're basically new. They got some, got some marks on them, but nothing much. Um, they have the model name, so I could probably look them up by that. Um, 
size six and a half. Very nice red color. Yeah, I like them. They're not bad. Chaps? I think chaps sell okay. I'm not sure, but um, once again, they are new. Yeah, I don't see any marks. Uh, a little, some some markings. It looks more like a factory defect than anything. But let's see, they are. A, I don't see the size on them. I might be looking in the wrong place. But I don't see a size on them. It might be inside. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to look, but yeah, they're good. And last but not least, in this box, I still got one more to go. These boots. I remember this was a very popular style last year. Um, Madden girl, so nothing fancy, but you can. high or low so you can put them like that too and then they lace up so those are cute where it's not bad I mean it could be better but it's not not horrible so I can still wear them the size is not to be seen anywhere I'm sure it's in here somewhere they look like about a size eight or nine just looking at them but yeah, there. and they have the zipper, the red zipper on the back. So, yeah, that's a pretty popular style. So I think they'll, I'll have no problem selling them. And on to the next box. Sperry's. I like selling Sperry's. They're pretty nice. You don't get too much out of them, but um, they're a size 6. They are. Yeah, there's no markings on the top. On either of them. The bottoms are there. I mean, the, the tread is worn off, but it, I mean, they don't. Maybe not. Um, yeah. A little bit. The treading is a little bit worn off. And they say non-marking on them. I don't know what that means. Yeah, these are in really good condition. Next up, we have just some basic Forever 21 heels. It isn't bad. I've actually made quite a bit of money from Forever 21 stuff. So they... Um, I'm not sure. Maybe this goes around your ankle. And maybe this does too. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, maybe like that. But they have no markings. Oh. They have, they have two layers. And they are high. Size six. Yeah, they're in good shape. Just too high for me. Oh, these are cool. They're like a vintage, I don't know if they're vintage or vintage style. New Balance. They have like a, that kind of material and then they have this and they look brand new. Oh, maybe they're, they're volleyball shoes. These are cool. 
the, they're called the Authentics, so it must be a name for one of the models. Size 7. And they're in really good shape. Yeah, definitely volleyball shoes because they got a lot of rubber on them and stuff. It doesn't look like they've ever been worn, honestly. <clears throat> Next up, we have NY and C. Is that just New York and Company? I think. But they're, um, this style is pretty popular right now. It's got like that kind of meshy looking fabric. And they got a big bottom. Really dirty, but you can probably, that'll come right off. Size 8. But yeah, those aren't bad. Next up, Unissa. I've never heard of that, but these are really cute. Genuine leather sole. So it is leather. They have like this nice design, like a, a velvety type, type design. And they have a, a buckle on the front, size five. So really small, all size five B. So really small, but they're really cute. And they're really, really narrow. <laughs> Next up, we have Kenzie. I've seen this before. I think it's just kind of a normal, average brand. I'm not sure, though. Kenzie. Really good shape, though. Leather upper, so it must be leather. And then leather upper and man-made materials so they're in really good shape and they're pretty cute they have this like shiny part on them size seven and a half so yeah these these should be good i'm not a really good shoe cleaner but i guess i'm gonna have to start next up we have bally Bailey, Bally, I don't know. Upper leather, lining leather, and sole leather. So these are also leather. These are really cute. They're a nice like mint green color. Little bit dirty. Just on the on this part, but it, that's material that you can just it'll come out. They are oh, whoa. Original price is $325. Sale price, $1.99. You know what? They're brand new. So hopefully the resale value is good because they're really cute. Hmm. Next up, we got some Aquatalia. Made in Italy. Maybe there's something. They don't feel that great, but they smell good. They smell like leather. <laughs> These are really cool. I'm not I, I'm not a big pointy boot person, but I know some people are. And they have no wear on them. I mean a little bit on the bottom, but nothing up here yeah these are nice next up oh we have some more platform shoes salt salto sophia Never heard of this brand either. I don't know if you can see that. Made in Italy. Nice cheetah print. And go like that. A little bit of wear, not no wear on the bottom 
at all. Well, a little bit of wear on this one. I don't see the size right away. I'm sure it's in there. I don't know how to tell, I don't know how to measure shoes if they don't have a size. Because I don't know if you measure them like from here or from here. I don't know. Next up. We got some. Artisan frame case. I don't know. And these are really cute. They are red, white, and blue. And they're just, um, yeah, they're, oh, kiwi, they're kiwi, maybe, I don't know, this one says kiwi on it, this one does not, so yeah, these are, these are cute, perfect for 4th of July, next, oh, we got Stuart Weitzman, I love selling his shoes. I have sold a few of the shoes. They are just, oh, they're just nice basic jelly shoes. Size six, very shiny. Very good for like, maybe younger girls going to a dance or something. Oh, this is peeling. So I could probably just, oh wait, it's supposed to peel. I can probably just put something down on that. So yeah, these are really cute. Probably not. I probably won't get much out of them, but they're... I like them. Next. These are... Blink Balance... Uh, let's see. Glowfish. Glowfish Malibu, so nothing special. But I just sold a pair like this. And they're cute. Perfect for fall. Size. I don't see the size. Oh. Size 4? Maybe? Yeah, size 4. Kids 4, maybe. I'm not sure. Next up, we have Liliana. I have never heard of this. I don't know if it's good or it's bad. All man-made all man-made materials, so it's probably not too high-end. But these are brand new. No wear whatsoever on them. Have a nice detail on them. And just nice little straps. Um, they are a size 6. And yeah. Next up, we got LC Lauren Conrad. These look like they could be new. Oh no, they're not new. But they had me fold. So they're just a basic really really high heel um I don't see it oh the size is worn off on that one women's 10 yeah I think that's a 10 yeah these aren't bad oh there's a little scuff right there I can probably get that off These are, hmm, AP Athletic Propulsion Labs. I think I've heard of these and I think they're pretty good. They're like a cool like knitted, they have a knitted look to them. They are a size five and a half. And they don't have too much wear, a little bit of wear, but not too much. And they're, they're really nice. I like them. I wish they were my size. These are 
really gross. I think they're mini Tonka, but they're really, I don't know, I don't think they're supposed to be that color. And like the only th way I could tell was mini Tonka was that like tiny, the M right there. So I'm probably not going to sell these because I think they're gross. Next we got Mystique. I haven't heard of this, but they look pretty nice. They're just basic shoes. Um, no beads missing, or no rocks missing, I guess. They are rocks. Not too much wear on the bottom, a little bit of wear, but not bad. And they're just like your basic shoe, size eight. Next up, we have some Tom lookalikes. I don't think these are Toms. They don't have the Toms thing on them. They look like Toms. Five and a half, brand new. Still has the stickers on the bottom. And yeah, there are no brands, so must just be like a Walmart brand or something. Let's see what we can get for those. Paris Hilton shoes that are brand, maybe brand new. No, they're not. These are fancy. I don't know how much stuff, how much Paris Hilton stuff goes for. I can't imagine it'd go for too much. But look at these. Size nine. A little bit of wear, but not too much. So those are cool. These are brash. Never heard of brash. They're cute. They look like they could be new. They just have this nice metal detailing. It's not metal, it's plastic, but they're not bad. Next up. We have some Old Navy shoes, Converse lookalikes. These are not new, but they don't look like they have been worn too much. So, um, I think they're off-white. Maybe they were white. They are a size six, so pretty small, but Maybe I can clean them up a little bit. Next up, we've got some Bowden shoes. Except they're kind of, they got a little bit of stuff on them. Maybe I can get that off. And they're a little kind of worn on the bottom. But they're still like that kind of material that you can clean up. So not bad. Pretty cute, uh, size 39, leather sole. So, yeah, those are cool. Hopefully I can, oh, that's where the bow was. So I'll have to take this bow off and, <laughs> and then try to get that off because they wouldn't be bad, like career shoes or something. Next up, we have some, what, ash? Some ash shoes. These are a little bit rough. They're A by Ash. Size 38. Kind of crazy. I don't, I've never heard of that brand. Yeah, not too much about them. Just the white is worn, but the black is not. Almost done. Okay, we've got some girl spring. I call it call it spring. They're really nice. They don't look worn. They're a nice booty type heel. Nice fall color. Nice 
I don't see a size right now. I don't see a size. I'll have to look. But yeah, I like these. They're really nice. I think we got three more pair in here. Jennifer Lopez. These are fancy and they are not worn and they're in good condition. So they are, a, oh, they're Kohl's. Size eight. I like these. I'd never wear them, but I like them. Yeah. And we got Olivia, let's see, Olivia something, some name scribbled on the bottom, I don't know what it is, they don't feel like leather, they do feel nice though, but I think they, this mess wraps around your ankle, and they have a little bit of stain on them, but again, I could probably get that out. Um, I don't see, oh, a size 7. They are both, they are a size 7. And last but not least, we got some Antonio Milani. Never heard of it. But they look new. Size 7. They don't look like they are in that. They're not that high end. But there are some very nice basic brown boot. With zippers up the side. So, that was all of the shoes. Overall, they're not as, it's not as good of a haul as I've seen some people get. But it's not horrible. I can definitely make my money back. Um, I think the dance goes were probably one of the highlights and the Nike sneakers and I'll have to look up some of the Italy brands but I mean I like it and I'm in a place where I can't get that much inventory and I like selling shoes but I can't really find any so this will give me an opportunity to experiment with that and then hopefully I make enough money where I can buy another one because <laughs> I have a rule that like I, I won't buy another one until I make my money back on this one. So I have a lot of like half sold boxes of stuff, which is fine with me. I like doing it and I like unboxing it. So yeah, thank you for watching.